Whether you're traveling for work or going on holiday, productivity doesn't stop. And in this video, I wanted to share all of the things that I've been using over the last few months to stay productive whilst I'm out on my travels. I'll show you what's in my backpack, my sling, and my tech pouch. Now, bear in mind, I don't carry all of this stuff all of the time, but I'll carry this stuff in some configuration depending on what it is I'm doing for that day. So let's start with the backpack, which is the Samsonite Open Road Laptop Backpack. And this is the 14 inch variant of it. It holds about 15 and a half liters. You can see across the front here, there are a bunch of pockets, all of which are super easily accessible and all of which enable me to keep all of my stuff separate. There's a separate laptop compartment at the back, which is accessible, which also gives you space for other stuff like an iPad or a Kindle. And at the front, you've got even more space for documents or for even more tech. It's properly good quality, the kind of quality you'd expect from Samsonite, the zips, the straps, everything feels really, really good quality. It's not the kind of bag you'd take on a weekend trip where you'd pack clothes because it's really quite a narrow bag. It's not really meant for that type of thing. But if you're looking for a commuter bag, this is actually not a bad shout. It's not perfect by any means, but is there such thing as a perfect backpack? Leave me a comment and let me know. I use the MacBook Pro M3 Pro and this thing is total butter when it comes to Final Cut Pro and any other resource heavy application. This thing will absolutely fly. It's not stuttered at all once when video editing. The fans have never once kicked in. Even though the backpack has a separate laptop compartment, I still tend to put it in a laptop sleeve and the moft laptop sleeve is absolutely perfect. It's a really good quality leather material. It looks really unique. I got it in this tan color, but it doubles up as a laptop stand. So when you're in a coffee shop and you don't want to put your brand new shiny machine on a dirty coffee table, this is the perfect device. The flap folds in this origami type way and it enables you to put your laptop on top of it. And the flap itself is adjustable so you can have it slightly higher or slightly lower. It's just better and more ergonomic to have a laptop which is more at your eye level. It's got this lovely flexible mesh compartment on the side so you can put all your charges and power banks and things away from your laptop so it doesn't rub up against it. And it's just really useful, kind of like an all-in-one type solution. If you're away from your desk more permanently and want to do more serious, more prolonged work on your laptop away from your desk, the Logitech Casa pop-up desk is something that you might want to try. And it's an all-in-one desk solution. So inside this box is a keyboard, a touchpad for your laptop, and a little compartment for you to store all of your nooks and crannies. Once you have it open, the lid then folds over to create a laptop stand. So now you can prop up your laptop much, much higher and have a keyboard and trackpad to work from. So you can keep the right posture when you're working and do work more efficiently when you're not at your usual place of work. It's pretty slim, although it is quite heavy. But when you think about the fact that it's got a keyboard, a touchpad and it's a laptop stand, I think the trade-off would be worth it if you're out and about for long periods. I think you'd find this really useful. I power everything using the Ugreen 100 watt GAN charger. This is a great charger because I can charge all of my devices at the same time. It's got three USB-C and one USB-A port. So I can charge my MacBook Pro, iPhone, iPad, and my Kindle if I wanted to, all at the same time and at quick speeds. It's one downside is it's pretty heavy, but given you don't have to carry any other charger, this is a staple item that always stays in my backpack. Speaking of Kindles, I always carry a Kindle Paperwhite with me. Given its form factor and how slim it is, it takes up basically no room in my backpack and just makes reading really convenient. I find it really hard to find time to read. So anything that I can do to just reduce the friction of reading I think will help me. So why not take this particularly for train journeys and plane journeys? This is an absolute must. I carry a Nintendo Switch with me only really on long journeys. I find they really, really help. They enable me to switch off, escape for a while and help me have a brain break before I go back to doing what I was doing. And when I do, I feel a lot, lot better for it. I feel like I've actually been able to relax. So for those times where I'm just out during the day, maybe just for a few hours and I want to carry my iPad, I tend not to use my backpack. I think that's overkill. And this Peak Design 6 Lita Sling is absolutely perfect for what I need it for. It just about fits the 11 inch iPad Pro with the magic keyboard attached. And it's got a handy customizable area in which you can create little compartments for all of your other bits and pieces that you want to store for the day. Its design is absolutely brilliant. It feels like a really good quality product, a bit like the backpack, the zippers, the strap, everything about it feels really well made. So far, it's proven to be really useful, particularly if you like to carry minimal amounts of stuff when you're out and about. As mentioned, I use the iPad Pro and I have the M2 variant. And for days in which I'm doing non-video editing stuff, I find the iPad with the magic keyboard attached to it is exactly what I need. It pretty much does 80% of all of the things that I normally do on a computer. I find there are certain workflows like editing photos on Lightroom, which I much, much prefer doing on an iPad. I find the Apple Pencil really unlocks my creativity, particularly for taking notes and drawing out and designing things like thumbnails. I've managed to turn the iPad Pro into a really essential productivity device for me. And I'm gonna be making a video on just how I am productive on 
the iPad coming soon, so be sure to subscribe. Next, when I want to capture content and I'm out and about, I use the Insta360 Flow gimbal, and I absolutely love this device. It's so small and compact. Of all of the gimbals I've used, this is by far the most convenient. It fits in my pocket, which is really, really handy. So to turn it on, all you do is unfold it. And then you can also take out the bottoms so you've got a better grip. And they also fold out so that you can create a tripod, which is really, really, really cool. You can also extend the top as well. So it can turn into like a sort of selfie stick type thing. The AI tracking also works when shooting Apple ProRes footage, which is incredible. So yeah, if you're looking for a phone gimbal, this one is pretty decent. By the way, if you want me to be your personal productivity coach, please subscribe. Next is the Anker MagGo 3-in-1 charger. Now, I've really struggled to find 3-in-1 chargers that will charge my iPhone, AirPods, and Apple Watch at the same time. It charges via USB-C and unfolds to reveal the Apple Watch charger and the AirPod charger. It charges the phone via MagSafe at 15 watts, and it comes with a 40-watt charger in the box, which is pretty good. I say this is the perfect device if you're on holiday or an overnight stay for work and you need all your things charged at the same time by your bedside. This this will do the job. Wherever I go, I always take my AirPods Pro and they really help me with focus, especially in noisy environments. And for their size, the noise cancellation is absolutely exceptional. They're super useful for working out in the gym or going for runs. And I also use them for video conferencing. I find they cancel out the noise around me. These have helped me stay on point now for a number of years. And in every single bag that I have, I have an AirTag. I've got this cool keyring accessory that attaches onto the AirTag, which is really useful because now you can attach an AirTag to pretty much anything. So yeah, highly, highly recommend one of these, particularly if you've got loads of tech in your bag, you want to make sure you can track it. Now for all my cables and small accessories that I don't want kept loose in my bag, I have this native union tech pouch. Now I featured this tech pouch in a previous video, which I'll link in the description below. I've just found it to be the perfect size for all of these small little nooks and crannies that you want to keep contained in one place. So for example, I keep all of my SSDs inside my tech pouch. This is the SanDisk Extreme Portable One Terabyte. And honestly, I find these so useful because I'm always using up storage on my phone. And I also store things like chargers. This is the Ugreen 65 watt USB-C charger. It's got a really compact foldable design. And if I don't want to charge multiple devices at once, this is the charger I take with me because 65 watts pretty much charges up any single device. This Moft iPhone tripod stand has been a really unexpected quality addition to my carry. It's got the signature unique foldable design by Moft and it attaches to the back of your phone via MagSafe. Or if you've got an Android device, it comes with a magnetic sticker and then it really quickly unfolds and you can have your iPhone kind of stood upright which is really nice. It also expands further into a tripod so you can have your phone a little bit higher and therefore make your phone actually quite a bit more useful. So I've been using this for video calls quite a lot. I've been using my phone as a continuity camera from my MacBook. I also went to a restaurant with my wife and we wanted to create some content there. And we took selfies with this thing and it just gives you creative freedom, being able to have your phone at different angles. And this seafoam color is just absolute perfection. I would say I probably wouldn't keep it on the back of my phone all the time. It kind of adds a little bit of bulk and heaviness to my phone, but I do keep it with me now in my pockets at all times for those situations where I feel like I could get more out of having my phone upright. Speaking of green, I have this Anker power bank, which is 10,000 milliamp hours. So it should charge your iPhone up to two times over. What I love about this device is it's got the USB-C cable already attached. So you don't need to mess around with loose cables or carry anything else. This is all you need to ensure that your devices will be charged up whilst you're on the go. It also doubles up as a cool handle and has a really cool display, which gives you different types of information depending on what it's doing. If you're charging a device, it will tell you how long left until that device is fully charged. Or if you're charging the power bank itself, it will tell you how long until the power bank is fully charged. A really, really good quality device that you'd expect from the likes of Anchor. Finally, for my carry, I always use my Nomad card wallet. It's slim, it's got this really nice quality brown leather. It keeps all of my cards in one place and it's minimal, which is what I love most about it. And to go alongside that is my Orbit Key Key Organizer, which I use to hold all my keys in one place. It keeps them from jangling around in my pocket and also keeps my tech safe when I've got my keys in my bag. So there you have it. That's pretty much all of the travel carry that I take with me to stay productive. As ever, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. In the meantime, stay productive.